Hi, my name's Colin. Welcome to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, let's get started. This is a photograph of Bar Harbour and I got this from paintmyphoto.com and if you want to paint this, man you do with a friend and I've got the board laying flat. This is £140 Bockingford paper and we're just gonna just put in this is a rolling and this is on dry paper, it's been dried out we need a sliver of light round about there and into that we're going to put some Elysian Crimson sliver. This is a mixture of Prussian blue and Indian red. Just want to test it. We can bring that in. And the Elysium Crimson acts as a barrier. Down over the trees. Over the background hills. leaving some light patches this is a 10p just wrapped in some kitchen foil uh, sorry kitchen towel and we'll just put uh, the sun in press very firmly This is a stronger darker mix of the uh, Prussian blue and Indian red and we're just going to test it. The paper's probably just a little bit uh, too damp. We'll see how we go. I'm just going to flood it in the top area. Just add some interest in some clouds. Just darkening the evening sky. And just build it up gently. Prussian blue has a tendency to fade really light once you put it on, so don't be frightened of putting colour on. So you very gently strengthen your sky. And now I've got that in, and the top of the sky is a bit darker. We can leave that to dry a little further. Okay, this is a, <coughs> a number six rigger. I think it's gone dry enough in some parts to. Uh, add some clouds so this is a fully loaded brush and I'm just going to take the excess paint off while we put some just test it first some stringy clouds in on the bottom you can add some shape to them on the tops make one bigger here and then we can pull it into the red. Don't work it into the yellow. We're trying to lay it in. So that it doesn't mingle too much and give you a bright green cloud. Start this one in the middle here, the sun. Just to give it some extra interest, very gently across the aerial in. Think about a cloud shape and then just work it in on the tops just to create some interest on it. Then we'll leave that to dry. This is just uh, another mix of the Indian red and 
Prussian blue. I'll just drop the background in. And whilst it's like that, we can just drop some every all in here on the tops of the hills, not everywhere. Just breaks the uh, Indian red and the Prussian blue up. A damp brush that's fully loaded with water, and now it's damp. I'll just feather that in. Then with some clean water, <clears throat> we come to the background trees. These are evergreens. So I'm just going to re-wet <clears throat> when I'm going to drop them in because I'm going to drop most of them in wet on wet. And we'll just test it. Top of the tree. And into the uh, into the water. Stronger here. Pull some of the trees out, tree branches, so you can. The eye will mix it for you and tell you it's a tree. Just create evergreen shape. I've mixed up some stronger um, Prussian blue and Indian red because I just want this to be. I don't want it all to be the same shade. Let's get some darks into it. Let that fully dry. Just re-wet three areas of the land here, here and here and into that what I'm just going to do is just put some straight areola in going here, somewhere around here. There's a yellow green made from the um, sky mixture and then all I've done is added some Prussian, uh, sorry, some really into it, areola in. And we're just going to brush this in areas just to add an earthy green. Now this is a, a stronger mix of that colour with more Prussian blue added to it to make it darker and then underneath this trees here now let's make it darker so you'd have a shadow under here just a touch on the top we're going to drop some burnt sienna into the sky colour to make a soft browny grey almost like a burnt umber on the bottom but if you use the sky colour you harmonise your colours because it contains the colour that you're using some dirt under the rocks now then, this is some French ultramarine and burnt umber just along the shoreline. Just going to drop some in. Coke some of this back in the direction that the land is flowing. Same here, just pull it back. Just ties the background to the middle ground. Juices are lovely green. To allow that to dry. That's basically all dry. This is straight reolin. It's fully loaded and I'm just going to pinch the end out so it's almost like a very dry brush. And then right in the centre where the sun is we're just going to mirror it and drag the brush across the paper and it will hit and miss the tooth. And we need to rinse that out once again into the crimson, pinch it again, taking off the excess. I'm going to add this to the areolin, both sides. This will add some sparkle. To your water. <clears throat> now the whole sea area is wet it's just basically a kind of a, a mirror image. 
and I've just put some areola into those trees there and we're just going to test this out all horizontal strokes crimson in Rolling. Careful against the blue. Try and avoid getting green, although it won't matter too much as we're into the water. Take a damp brush, Just soften off the areas at the top. Tiny bits of colour out there. And the sun is coming down. Crimson for variation. Darken it there. It should have green with the sky colour in it and the areolin. And while these trees are still wet, we just need to drop this in. Just down, sort of one side. It's more Prussian blue added actually. I, think I might just add a little touch more to that, just to get the, uh, the depth that I want. And then on the right hand side. Into that with a bigger brush, and I'm just going to drop some the brown that we made earlier tree trunk and pull it into the uh, tree. Here we're going to add some sky colour for the uh, under part shadow. Okay. And I'm not really going to put any detail on these, I'm just hinting at it. This is just a dark brown mixture. So we're just going to strengthen it back up. We don't want to wet it too much. We move on to some reflections. So I'm just going to drop the light coloured green in. To so that, we want a really dark mixture. Just down one side, just mirror it. Dark brown again. <clears throat> along the shoreline side green once again some in here the dark green which was in the tree and I'm going to just drop that in just dropping some extra dark on this side let that to dry okay the water's dry now so we'll move into the foreground <coughs> and I'm just going to add into the mud who says you can't have pink mud just some colours and I've only re-wet the area up to where the land moves up into where the grass area is and into that I just want to pull, just drop some grey which is ultramarine and burnt sienna. When it dries I'll just shape it as it comes in. We will be putting something darker into this but I just want the shape first. So this is actually dry paper at the top and we're actually running into um, wet paper at the bottom just to try and give it some shape add the uh, 
where the edge is, where the mud starts. This is just putting colour on at the moment. We will be manipulating it into something else. A watered down colour. So a very weak mixture. And we're just going to put some texture onto these rocks. So now the brush almost flat. These are nearly all rounded. But, and the white. But I do feel they need a slight bit of colour in. I'm going to try and leave as much of these rocks as white as I can. Crack lines, just to separate these rocks out, maybe. Just underneath. Just pick out areas of shadow. It will cause some interest. Try not to put him in too strong, which I have done there. So we will just take some water and soften that in. I'll just tuck it in under the rocks for the moment. Let it drift together. Pull it out towards the grey. Soften off some of these edges, put in these rocks here with the same colour but it's a slightly stronger mix. This is ultramarine and burnt sienna. We can just lift out some of the paint just to lighten the tops where the sunlight would catch it. You might have to remove it more than once to uh, create the effect you're looking for. Same rock mixture. I'm going to actually just darken one or two of the areas and allow it to mingle and pull it down with the fall of land to create some shape. Where the grassy areas are, just pull it round. Just create some light and dark patches. Add some darker mixture as we come down. And I just want to scrape in some rocks. Then we're going to leave the shine to go off that. Okay, the painting's been sat for about 5-10 minutes and the shine's gone off the paper. And I've just tested it to see if we can put some pebbles in. And this is just a, a cut up card. And we're just going to strike in a few pebbles. Just to show some interest in this foreground. Don't go wild with this. And then we get some clean water. And we're just going to add this under the rocks as we put the um, reflections in of these. And if you're watching for the first time, please click and like the button, or please click the like button, and please subscribe. All subscribers are very welcome, and it doesn't cost you anything. A subscription is free. Let's just test it. There we go. Just let that run into water also it's another one of them to resist the temptation to fiddle just want to soften off some of these edges into it so you get a nice soft transition and also into the water I'm just going to put a slight bit of movement in so this is the sky colour again which also became the water colour which is Prussian blue and Indian red do the same again once it's loaded, pinch the brush out then we're just going to add some movements along here maybe just where the wind is catching it all horizontal strokes this is a very very gentle pressure I'm just resting the brush on it I 
once you've got it to that level I think it's ready for a signature I have it there So let it dry and then we'll put a few wind streaks on it with a craft knife and like I say this is from this is Bar Harbour and uh, the painting sorry the photograph came from paintlinephoto.com I just want to add some shadow under these trees again this is just a sky colour and I'm just darkening it just attaching them to the ground I hope you enjoyed this video Please click the like button and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, that's the finished painting. It's all dried. I've just put a few wind streaks in here and there just to break up some of the colour. It's all signed. It's ready to be framed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you're a new uh, if you're a new viewer. Remember, it's free to subscribe and you're most welcome to join me. Thank you very much for watching.